Hey, good morning folks. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Mm. Praise God, we're going to have a time of worship and a time in God's Word. And It's great to have patience here. <laughs> yes. I was going to say she went on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> she can't she do was, it. She's still with us, but we had Rebecca as well the last two weeks. Great mm. to have you here Thank again. You. So, Just want to encourage you. We shared before Christmas a, a, a few little uh, teachings about encouraging yourself in the Lord. I want to really just encourage you at this season that we're in to keep encouraging yourself in God. Mm-hmm. Speak, keep spending time with God in his presence, um, mm-hmm. times in the word of God, because that will build us up. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't have times in uh, times together as a church, you know, apart from online at the moment. It's not the same. It's, mm-hmm. you know, there's something about when we come together, we just get encouraged, but we don't have that for the moment, for the, for, for the next number of weeks anyway. Mm-hmm. So I encourage you to keep keep spending time with God. Mm-hmm. When you spend time with God, you get encouraged. Yeah. You get built up. You mm-hmm. can't sp- you can't enter God's presence and be with Him, and go away discouraged. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So God bless you this morning as you mm-hmm. as patience leads us in worship. Father, we just thank you for our time and mm-hmm. pray that every person listening, Lord, will just uh, just enter Your presence now, Lord. That we'll be able to lay aside all distractions, mm-hmm. everything that would. Um, just distract our minds or our hearts now, Lord. And we just want to shut ourselves in with you, Lord, this morning. So, Lord, we just commit this time to you. I pray that every single person uh, watching in now, Lord, will be encouraged and will be strengthened in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
Father, of us, Son, and Son. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we want to say you're wonderful, Lord. We want to say you're beautiful, Lord, and we love to praise you and we love to worship you. We just thank you for this day, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for our lives and thank you for keeping us, Lord, in this time, Lord, in this season, Lord. We bless you today, Father. Mm -hmm. We worship and we praise today, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yes. Mm. You know, we're just singing there, purchased by God. Mm. Mm. Isn't that amazing? That God actually bought us. Mm. We actually belong to God. Mm. And that dawns on us. And he purchased us not with corruptible things like silver or gold, mm. but with the precious blood of Jesus, Jesus. as of a lamb, without blemish and without spot. We've been bought by God. And it's great to know that we're actually owned, that God owns us. Mm -hmm. We belong to God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you own something, you look after that, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. Yeah. How much more God mm -hmm. will God look after his property? Mm -hmm. I mean, we own things. We own the car and we own the house and we own the dog. And we look after what we mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a good steward. Yeah. And how much more God will God look after us? God will look after you yeah. because he purchased it. He purchased you. We, you belong to him. Amen. Amen. You know, we can trust Amen. him. Yeah. We can just have perfect assurance. Mm. All is at rest. And we can enter into that place and just be at peace. That mm. In the midst of everything, God will look after us. Yeah. Mm. He will look after us and he will carry us and he will bring us through. Mm. Amen. Amen. So praise Amen. God. It's great to have these two preachers here this morning. <laughs> It's Gilfile and Rebecca Gilfile. We're going to be competing for the time now. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we talked the last few weeks about um, Becca and I about putting our hope in God and keeping mm -hmm. our eyes on Jesus. We were talking from uh, Hebrews mm -hmm. chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Since we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every sin and the weight that easily ensnares us. And talks about let us run with endurance mm -hmm. the race that is set before us. Yeah. Looking unto Jesus, we yeah. talked about last week, having the eyes for him only, looking yeah. unto him uh, from our heart yeah. and uh, running the race that's set before us. So we're going to talk about that today. Yeah. We're going to talk about running the race yeah. that's set before us. We yeah. talked about looking unto Jesus last week and, you know, it's not a natural race, yeah. but the, the Christian walk is likened to, in a number of places in scripture, it's likened to a race. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're not competing with one another. Yeah. Uh, but we are told to have a certain type of attitude in the race. Mm. And there's a scripture in 1 Corinthians 9, 24. It mm. says, do you not know that in a race all run, all the runners run, but one gets the prize. Mm. Only one wins the race. It, it tells us to run in such a way as to get the prize. Mm. So it's telling us to have the same attitude that mm. The person that's run the race and he is determined in his heart to win even though we don't have to win in a sense we don't have to i don't have to better you you don't have to better me in the race we don't have to pass each other out yeah. but we're to have the same type of attitude yeah. as the one that's running to win there's a difference in the one that prepares to win the race mm. as the one that prepares just to compete mm. i often use the analogy of uh, brother pat o'connell <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pat ran the Dublin City Marathon, I think it was 1986, mm. if I'm right, Pat. And, uh, you know, there's a certain amount of people that do that marathon, and Pat was included. They were only running to compete. Mm. Mm. They weren't training to be one who's going to win the race. Mm. There was probably a number of people that were running to win mm. that marathon that day. And, uh, but Pat was only running to finish. Mm. He just wanted to get from the start <laughs> to the finish. <laughs> and he'd done it in two hours and... 40 minutes or whatever he did it in and uh, but there was a certain ones that actually ran that race maybe there was a hundred or two hundred and they thought I could win that mm -hmm. now if you were to look at the attitude and if you were to look at the dedication mm -hmm. that the ones that were running to win it would have been a lot higher 
and a lot more serious than the ones that were running just to yeah. compete. Mm. Mm. So we are to have the same attitude as the ones that are running to win. Yeah. Mm. So if you looked at the attitude of those that were running to win the race that day, there would have been a lot more self-control, yeah. have a lot more discipline of what mm. they allowed into their lives. They wouldn't, yeah. have, they wouldn't be having a big curry and chips the Saturday night before the race. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Pat didn't have it either, but you know what I mean? They'd be a lot more stricter mm. on their diet, on their exercise. They wouldn't have been out jogging the day before. You know what I mean? They would mm. be a lot more serious. Yeah. So we are called to run mm. this race in such a way. We are called to have the same kind of attitude. Mm. And we're talking really from Hebrews um, 12, 1 and 2, mm. that we are to lay aside mm. every weight and the sin that would so easily ensnare us. Mm. And that's what we're looking at today. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you know. talk about lay aside every weight and sin, you know. Something doesn't have to be serious as sin. It could be just the weight. Yeah. Mm. You know, weights are things that kind of weigh you down. And just like a runner, you know. Yeah. Mm. You've never seen a runner, like most professional runners don't have any fat on them, you know. It's Very true. small percentage of the fat because they understand <laughs> that, <laughs> that you know, the more fat they have, the more difficult it's going to be. It's going to yeah. hinder them, you know. Yeah. And uh, Or you've never seen a professional runner with a big sack of potatoes on their back, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Runner, because they know any extra weight is going to hinder that, you know. Yeah. So, so to speak, that's, that's kind of what God was yes. for us. Anything that's going to hinder us from running, God wants us to lay aside. aside. It may not be sin, but yeah. it's a weight that you yes. know yeah. that is restricting your walk with God and everything, yeah. your call and everything is weighing you down and you know that. And God says, are you prepared to lay aside this in order to run? Yeah. Yeah. You know, effectively. Yeah. To That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it, it literally says that you can't lay aside the weight first, then the sin, and then run with endurance. Mm. So you need to do this first to first. then run with yeah. endurance. So it's yeah. kind of yeah. like, yeah, That's it's, it's in yeah. order, you know. To, yeah. Yeah. So it'd be difficult to endure, I suppose, isn't it? Mm. If you don't lay aside when you're the heavy weights. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very hard to run a race when you're, when you're ensnared. It's a bit like a car. You know, if the car is clamped, I use mm -hmm. the analogy, if you get a clamp, anyone ever been clamped mm -hmm. <laughs> on your car? Yeah. you got to get rid of the clamp before you move the car. Yeah. You can have rocket fuel in the engine. You ain't going anywhere. Yeah. You're not going to advance forward yeah. unless you pay the fine and get rid of the clamp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's true. you got to yeah. deal with the clamp mm. before you can really advance and reach this place that we're talking about uh, mm. the same attitude in 1 corinthians 9 24 you know mm. that we're to have that we are to run to win so we're to carry that we're to you know and somehow receive that kind of a intensity and attitude from god mm. that we are running as if we're running to win mm. and we're not kind of you know placid and just yeah. easy going mm. and you know, we're we're kind of serious about our walk, mm. yeah. and it's a serious it's a serious thing. You know, I mean, these weights and this sin. You know, I mean, uh, scripture that comes to mind is in Matthew five twenty nine, where it says, "If your right hand causes you to sin, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, cut it off." Like yeah. you know, in, in this case, we're talking about weights as well. You know, yeah. you can say if your right hand causes you, obviously is hindering you as yeah. well. Yeah. You know, cut it off and, and it obviously doesn't mean to actually literally, literally. cut it off your hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. It just means that whatever causes you to sin or whatever is hindering you, take drastic measures uh, to get rid of that thing in your life. In other words, be prepared to make um, except, exceptional sacrifices mm. um, if you want to follow Jesus. Yeah. You know, we talk a lot about the blessings of God, which is great mm. and what Jesus has purchased for us. But sometimes there's a price to pay you know yeah. to run the race properly and sometimes we find it hard to pay that price and we mm. we need god to help us to lay you yeah. know yeah. it it's true the yeah. grace yeah. and the mercy to actually yeah. lay but also but we need to be willing mm. to yeah. lay yeah. down yeah. Yeah. yeah it's free it's free will isn't it yeah yeah, yeah we do yeah. So. yeah yeah uh i read a quote somewhere this week it said um you know, we want full-time blessings, mm. but we want to live part-time Christian walk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we want to be part-time Christians. I had a road somewhere, mm. uh, part-time Christians, but full-time blessings. Mm. Yeah. We like that. But, you know, um, if we get serious about this and mm. we make that decision this year, mm. I'm going to lay aside. Mm. And you know what it talks about? It says every. Every. Yeah. Every. Yeah. You know, sometimes we like to keep a few, don't we? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I do. Yeah. I like to keep a few of those things of the flesh, maybe. Mm. And, um, 
you know, but there's always a blessing mm. from God. If we, if God sees that we are laying aside something, sure. yeah. God always comes and mm. rewards and blesses mm. us. Mm. Like that. And, it, and it says then as well, it says, easily ensnares us. Yeah, yeah. that's you know, true. Every blessing that easily <coughs> ensnares. Sometimes we yeah. think it's hard. Yeah. It's actually quite... It's a bit of a warning, isn't it, that yeah. we can get easily ensnared. Yeah. And this is anybody is susceptible to this. Mm-hmm. You can have a great encounter with God and you can be as close to Jesus, but if you, in a sense, it's a bit like being up in an airplane. Mm. No matter how high you go, you think, I'm overcoming gravity here, mm. I'm in the airplane, I'm 33,000 feet high. If you turn off the law of lift, what mm. happens? We come mm. crashing down. You're coming gravity straight down. still there. Mm. It's coming straight yeah. down. So we got to stay at that place where we're just constantly mm. watchful and we're constantly, you know, diligent to, to lay aside mm. every weight that ens- easily ensnares mm. us. And, you know, what easily yeah. ensnares you may not be something that easily ensnares me. No. What easily ensnares Rebecca no. may not be something, you know. Yeah. And that's, yeah. why some, that's why we don't preach these things. You don't yeah. preach, example, something that might easily ensnare me it's not true but I'm just saying it could yeah. be drink yeah. so I can't be preaching oh don't yeah. be drinking you get it yeah. It's, yeah. it's a personal thing and God will show every individual yeah. where yeah. you're easily ensnared yeah. you know, and you, so yeah. you, can't, you can't put that on other people yeah. and say oh you yeah. can yeah. simply because yeah. you have a problem like yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. yeah, so yeah, and some of it, it might take time as well. There might be a few yeah. things that need to, but when you allow yeah. the Holy Spirit, He can show you each thing, and then it's a journey, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It is a, a process, race and a process. And as you're going, <laughs> everything's not going to just fall off. So, you can, yeah. as you're running, things will fall off. Yeah. And this was like Mark yeah. said, it's being willing, it's having yeah. that willing heart, yeah. being open to the Holy Spirit to show you. Sometimes yeah. it can be hard, there might be a bit of pride there. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't really want to deal with this, but no, it's yeah. it's it's, it's yeah. worth it because yeah. then we can yeah. run with freedom. Yes. That, that weight is lifted. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing because God has a work for each one of us to do. Mm-hmm. You know, it says that um, uh, Ephesians two ten, we are created in Christ Jesus for good mm-hmm. works. That's part of the race, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, what we're called to do, yeah. the good works that God has given us to do. We're not talking out there to run naturally, mm-hmm. but the race is getting engaged in whatever God yeah. has called us to do. That is actually running the race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. When you hit, when you, when you know God's called me to be a certain type of person or God's mm-hmm. gifted me in a certain area and when you're embracing your gifting mm-hmm. and you're embracing your calling and uh, that's running with the mm-hmm. that's running the race that's mm-hmm. true. so when you're ensnared by things and when you've when you're caught with things sometimes it's hard to give yourself to your calling yeah, yeah. it's hard to give yourself to your gifting mm-hmm. and he's called us all he's called you mm-hmm. he's called you he's called mm-hmm. you he's called me he's called us to engage yeah. and he's called he's called us to do works uh Acts ten thirty eight. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good mm. and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Mm. So God has a good work for you That's to carry true. out. Yeah. Mm. He's a good work for all of us to carry out, and that is when we engage with that, mm. and we know I have a gift of hospitality or whatever you have a gift mm. of. I have a gift of mercy. I have a gift of uh, teaching. I have pastoral gift. I have an evangelistic gift. When you're giving yourself to that. And you're willing to actually lay aside everything that would try stop you mm. wow. from giving yourself to your wow. calling. And this is really what I was talking about. Lay aside. Wow. Yeah. Lay aside these things that will stop you mm. giving yourself to your calling. The yeah. enemy will fight. Yeah. He knows he can't take your salvation mm. away yeah. from you. That's true, yeah. But you know what he can try to? Mm. He can try render us ineffective mm. Mm. as Christians. Mm. And his, his, his job now is to... His job now is to get us to the place that we're, we're, we're not fruitful. Mm, yeah. Ineffective in a sense. Yeah. 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 I mean, I suppose in, the, in a way what you're saying is that the reality and the seriousness of, it, of mm. it is that these weights and sins can actually stop you from fulfilling your calling. Yes. That's actually how serious it is. Yeah, like you yeah. go through yeah. life and at the end of your life it's like yeah. you haven't really fulfilled what God has called you and these yeah. things would have been the reason why the yes. weights and the sins you know and the person yeah. that comes to mind is Joseph mm. he was yeah. an example of someone who did fulfill his calling yeah. but one of the, th- the things that yeah. would, have, would have potentially stopped him is the sin of lust didn't it yeah. one of his wife yeah. and I believe in all my heart if he had yielded to that yeah. Yeah. there is no way yeah. I, I, I mean maybe you can argue with me but I believe there's yeah. no way he would have come to that place yeah. where he was became the second most powerful man yeah. if he had given in you get it so yeah. 
you know, and another person opposite is Samson, isn't it? Yeah. Samson, God used yeah. him a lot, yeah. but then he fell into that area fell of into those, yeah. that yeah. lust. lust. And it's not just lust, in other areas, isn't it? It could be yeah. greed, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I believe he didn't totally fulfill what God wanted. His life was cut off short, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, that's how serious it is. Yeah. yeah. It's a revelation, really. I think it it's is, like, yeah. wow. Yeah. So, so it's, a, it's, it's, um, it's asking the Holy Spirit then, mm. what are the weights mm. and what are the things in our, into sin in our lives, if there's mm. sin there, that um, would potentially, mm. you know, have the ability to ensnare mm. us yeah. and pull us back and hinder us from obeying the call of God. Mm, exactly. We all want to fulfill God's mm, call. No? Yes. Yeah. We all want to use, oh, Lord. you yes. know, as each one has received a gift, each one has received a mm. gift. Not just the leaders, not just people at the front. Mm. Each one has received a gift and we can all minister that to one another yeah. as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Mm. And to do that, sometimes we've got to be radical mm. with our own selves. We've got to say, okay, I'm going to lay aside these weights. Yeah. As patient said, not necessarily sins. Mm. I remember one yeah. preacher saying, you know, he ended up, he was a pastor and he was an international speaker. But God told him one time to give up basketball. Mm. Now God might tell someone else to take up basketball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, but that had potential to be a weight. Mm. Probably, in, he was in America, so probably heading towards being a professional basketball player. Mm. So... You know, we got to, we got to kind of, um, what's that verse in the Psalms? In Psalm 39, yeah. It says, search me, O God. Yeah, oh, Psalm okay. 139. Search me, God, know my heart. Try me, know my anxiety. And see if there's any, any wicked, wicked way, way. Wicked way yeah. twisted way in twisted me, way, yeah. and lead me in the way of It's just being willing, I suppose. Like, it's yeah. being willing, asking the Holy Spirit that prayer to yeah. say. And then, yeah, just be yeah. expectant then that he will show you. He will, he will yeah. show you what you need yeah. to, yeah. 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 And taking baby things. steps towards that. Yeah, of course. You know, taking... And it can be painful, isn't it? Oh. You know, oh, it can be yeah. it. If I idolize something like that, man, with the basketball, it's yeah. painful. Yeah. You know, it, it really is. All your life you've been training to be yeah. a basketballer. Your parents have been coaching you on, and next yeah. week God says, lay it down, and you're like, oh, God. You yeah. know? Yeah. So, so I think for some of us, we're at a crossroads. It's like yeah. God's saying, this has to go, you know. For you to reach out to, to this. For you to kind of yeah. go yeah. to where yeah. I'm calling you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and another thing without taking much of that is I asked the question I'm curious like why why God why do you want me to lay aside these weights okay I understand sin mm -hmm. but all these other stuff that seemingly don't yeah. seem to be you know why, why is that and, mm -hmm. and I found that I came to a conclusion it's not because God won't love me anymore no. you know how it no, is you know, no. or God will be angry with it's me not a, it's not a, you know or God will be disappointed if no. I don't you yeah. know or God will be you know or condemn me you know it's actually for my sake so I can fulfill fulfill yeah. my calling yeah. so it doesn't hinder my walk with the Lord yeah. you know so it doesn't have negative effects because so many things have negative effects on yeah. our lives in all areas yeah. emotionally mentally Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and also so that it doesn't have a potential opening door for the devil as well. Because yeah. if you're sinning, you're gonna open a door. So there's so yeah. many reasons why. We so when I when yeah. I understand that, it's like yeah, I like yeah. okay, I'm willing God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is interesting. And it's, um, <laughs> you know, as you said, it can be painful, and mm. some it's only I think it's only initially. Yeah. That initial, it's a pain barrier. Yeah. As we talked about last week, when you, you know certain disciplines that you want to implement into your life, it's only initially they can see, I can't do that. Ooh, it's like impossible. It, <laughs> that's, that's the flesh, you see. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't give up that initially. But Ooh. when you when you yield to God and you yield to the Spirit of God, it gets easier. It gets easier, mm. and you come into a place where you go, Oh, this is actually easier. Mm. It's like walking in the Spirit. Then mm. Mm. walk in the Spirit, mm. and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah. The flesh wars against the Spirit, yeah. and the Spirit against the flesh. Mm. And a lot of the weights in the sin, they're only, they're only, they're only um, fleshly things. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. They're, 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 Everyone has a flesh. Now, yeah. We all have the flesh warned against our spirit. Mm. And we're, to we're told to actually walk in the spirit. Mm. And it's just laying aside that fleshliness. Mm. But they do hinder you, though. That's oh, how, yeah. you know, they hinder you. the judgmental they are, they yeah. actually hinder you. They hinder. As a, as, even though they're just petty things that we don't see they significant, us. you know. They ensnare yeah. us and they can hinder us from actually, yeah. you know, running that race yeah. that's set before us. Yeah. Engaging. Mm. Uh, in the call and in the purpose of God so our heart for ourselves this year and for yeah. you is that you'll find what God has Ooh. called you to do yeah. you'll find that gift in that God has put within you you'll find that you'll know that area of grace and you'll have that 
that release from snares and weights that you're mm. able to actually engage with yeah. the gifting, the calling that God has put on your life. Because mm. that is a place that you'll be most fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. That is a place that you'll, you'll, in a sense, you'll be receiving that prize, but it'll be every day. Mm. It's not like you have to run uh, for 30 years the Christian walk and yeah. then you get the prize when you get to heaven. It's the joy of knowing that you're in the will of God. Yeah, mm. exactly. yeah, right? You have a testimony, Rebecca, and I thought you wanted to say it. About. Yeah, well, no, I was going to mention sometimes, for me, the last while, um, I felt like what was, I suppose, ensnaring was the unbelief. Yeah. I think what was kind yeah. of like, I suppose, sin or what was kind of holding me back. But um, just from renewing my mind and being so open, you yeah. know, to the Lord to let and to show me that, it really, it, it was hard at the start because you, you feel yeah. like you're going against your natural. Like in the oh, natural, yeah. I don't see why, why should I get this or what, you know, in the natural, it seems more negative. But then when you actually believe the word of God, and for me, it was just renewing my mind. And I feel like then it's just a journey. And like dad said, it gets easier and easier. Oh. And um, you look back then and think, wow, like I've grown from this. Yeah. I've really grown from this, yeah. you know. But um, yeah. yeah, for me, it was, was like we mentioned last week. Um, I was standing on God's promises and mm -hmm. holding on to them and believing yeah. them, you know, yeah. and choosing to renew my mind and not believe what I'm seeing in the natural, yeah. but actually believe what the Spirit says and what oh, the Word of yeah. God says. That's so true, yeah. that was just was just for me, you know, yeah. and, it's, it's a journey. and something else now, the Lord will show something else mm. and I'll have yeah. to do with that. But like that, it's yeah. just, it's a, it's journey. a journey. It's a journey for all yeah. of us. But there's That's freedom right. at the end and through it, yeah. you're, every, things are falling off. So it's yeah. getting nearly easier and easier. Yeah. I know we have trials along the way, but our walk with God gets so much easier oh, and, you know right. we're connected yeah. to him you know yeah. and yeah. constantly looking unto jesus constantly yeah. like we mentioned last week and um yeah there's yeah. this freedom and oh, hope and peace and we're so. surrounded by the, the greater cloud of witnesses yeah. as we read last week we're surrounded by people that have done it yeah. on this earth that have run this race yeah meaning uh, it's possible it's yeah. possible yeah. like for me i can look at mom and dad and <laughs> I think yeah. they've gone through i, can, yeah. I can do i can look too, at yeah. loads of people that are alive on the earth and they're great examples to me and it's actually it's really helpful me over over the years looking to certain ones I mentioned last week and um, and ones that went before us you know we don't have to be a statistic of of uh, the ones that didn't make it That's true. Mm, yeah. you know there's a lot of ones that kind of you know that failed mm. and dropped out and maybe didn't fulfill the call but we can be in the statistics of the ones that did it mm. of those great cloud of witnesses that mm. says you know, yes, we did it. Mm. And then on our final day we can say I fought the good fight. Mm. I finished the race, the race. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. and that's what our prayer is today. And let's just pray as we finish yeah. this yeah. morning. I was going to say, some of us, some of you, you know the areas that God has been speaking to you about. You know, mm. you know those scenarios. You know those things. You know, we all know the areas. You know, mm. but I think the next step for you is like, okay, asking God, Lord, help me. I'm yeah. willing to lay these things down. Mm. It seems impossible. If I, you know, it seems so hard. I've been maybe trying. Perhaps you've been trying to stop mm. these areas yeah. that yeah. you're struggling in. But the next step is coming to God and asking God, and, yeah. and you know, in a sense, God, I need your help. Yeah. 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 Surrender is, is by grace. Yeah. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not by your own strength. That's why yeah. perhaps we've been failing all this time. Mm. You know. So, so that's the next step. Asking well, it God. it is. Yeah. yeah, asking God. We're going yeah. to do that. We're going to pray. Yeah. And we're going to ask, mm. you know, for the help of the Holy Spirit mm. to come. Yes. And Lord. just to say, like a principle that I usually live by is that if there's something in my life and I'm able to deal with it between me and God. Mm. And, you know, if it's an area of weight or an area of sin, I'll deal with it. I'll receive his mercy, forgiveness mm. and grace. But if it's a habitual thing that I'm not mm. able to overcome, yeah. you know, what I, the principle I usually live by is I go to somebody else, that's true. I share it with somebody yeah. else, yeah. confess my faults one so to one another, another, pray for one another, pray for one another that he you might, might be healed. healed. Yeah. So there's a real blessing in that for if there's, if there's struggles and there, there's, they seem to be so heavy, Mm. and so, seem to be so burdened on you that you don't seem to be able to get free from it mm. some of the things that might have gone deeper in your life yeah. could be you know it could be pornography mm. or it could, yeah. be, could be deeper stuff like that mm. that really takes a grip on you yeah. oh anger it's it could be some, yeah. anger yeah. or something like that but it, yeah. it just the, that principle of go to somebody else yeah. come to someone that you can trust that's going to pray for you mm. not just going to talk to you about it <laughs> it says I'm praying you want someone that's yeah. going to be able to pray and stand mm -hmm. with you on it anyway I just said I'd say that yeah. as we come to the end God bless you <laughs> thanks yes. for tuning in let's just mm. close our eyes yes. and Father we just thank you for your help thank this morning you. and Lord I just want to really want to ask you for your help thank you, to the start of this year Lord for us to and for every person listening and for all our, the members of KCC, Lord, to come into a place, Lord, that we're able to lay aside yes, Lord. every weight mm -hmm. and the sin that would easily ensnare us, Lord. Mm. And we will come to the place, Lord, that we are running 
with endurance the race that was set before us. We're engaging in our calling. We're engaging in the gift that you've given us. We're giving ourselves to you, Lord. And I just ask, Lord, that you, as Rebecca quoted that scripture, Psalm 139, that you will search us, O oh God. Yes, Lord. And Lord, that you will come and shine your light on our hearts mm-hmm. and show us those things we need to lay aside, Lord, and give us the grace to do it. And Lord, if we need to go and talk to someone else about a certain area, that the right person would be in our lives to do that, Lord. And we just commit this to you now, Father, in Jesus' precious yes, name. Yes, so thank you, Amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Praise thank God. You, Jesus. God bless you. And thanks yes. for listening in this morning. <laughs> Amen. Have a real blessed day and enjoy the rest of the week. And thanks to Patience, my wife, and Rebecca, my daughter. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.